Welcome to On Air with Cash. Our guest today is an actor, singer, and songwriter. His new music video for the single Cherry Bomb will be available on October 10th. Please welcome Alexander James Rodriguez. Hello. Alexander, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's a pleasure. You've been doing voiceovers and you've been Cardamon on the animated series B and Puppy Cat? Yes, I've been that voice of Cardamon for the animated anime styled series that's moving on to Netflix in 2022. And I've been that voice since I was probably around six. And I'm still that voice today and I'm super happy. And it's kind of shocking the fact that I've uh, kept it for so long. You also just wrapped a movie that stars Mickey Rourke. Now you're playing young Mickey Rourke, the scene that your character's in, he's in a youth detention center. I'm playing a young Mickey as a character. I'm supposed to be, I think, a messed up kid that uh, goes into detention center to do, you know, time. I come out and I have a fight scene and I had to work about like two hours learning how to punch someone without actually punching them and like punching them a foot away from their face and uh, the angle and everything. And uh, yeah, it was definitely a crazy experience. And it's definitely one of the first experiences I've had with like that fight coordination. I've done most motion capture before um, with a video game, but I've never actually done an actual fighting scene. Uh, so this one was a little different and a little crazy in comparison. Oh my goodness. I'm really, uh, I'm really stoked to see the movie. Love Mickey Rourke. Right. He's a great actor. I remember him from Iron Man 2. Oh yeah. <laughs> you had to learn fight coordination for the role as young Mickey Rourke, but you've also done stunt training and weapons for other movies? Uh, yeah, so I've done before, I've held some weapons uh, for certain movies. I remember when I was around five, six, I had, uh, we were filming a film and I played a pretty young youngster. I was five and six or, or six. So I had to pick up a pistol and it was a real pistol with a safety on. And um, I shot off someone's kneecap um, <laughs> in the movie. So uh, that was pretty gruesome because they put a lot of fake blood on the scene and everything. So it was definitely, uh, definitely my first experience with something like stunt-ish. And so that was, that was probably my first experience with holding a prop and shooting someone. I actually just got into stunt training before the pandemic. Um, I, we took a wire fighters class. So that's where they put you in the harness, they tie you to, to the wires and you, it's like living in the matrix. And they said, cast do a backflip. I'm like, no way. <laughs> I let it all go. I did the backflip and then I was able to complete the course. It was so liberating and so much fun. I strongly recommend you do it. I, I want to do it now. You, you've made it, you've sold it to me. I want to do it. <laughs> sold, let's do it. <laughs> And we actually did a, a weapon day. So we went to a shooting range. We took all the, we did all the drills and um, no, it was so much fun. So dude, I commend you. And I really, I can't wait to see you uh, bust out some action in your new movies. I, def I definitely want to do that. <laughs> I had a lot of fun on set. So yes, I would definitely want to do some stunt coordinating work in the future. During the pandemic, sets were closed. A lot of uh, productions were put on hold. So you put all of your focus into your uh, singing and songwriting career and you debuted your single, My Crew. It got you a lot of press, a lot of streams, and it went on to earn you a Rising Star Award. Yes, I've got the award right here. It is one of my most prized possessions um, and is always held close to me. Um, uh, I released My Crew a year ago in 2020. I was recording earlier and I recorded three songs, uh, My Crew, You're Smiling Up To You. My Crew was the first ever to be recorded. And, you know, the, I did that during the pandemic to keep myself busy. And at first I wanted to just, you know, transition and see what it was gonna, and test the water to see what it was gonna be like since I'd already been singing in the past. I already had vocal lessons and all of that. So I really wanted to see how it would go. And after releasing my crew and all of the love it got and the rising star award, which was an incredible surprise. And I loved it. I, I was running around the room screaming, yay. Um, I definitely went out and I continued recording music because I just loved what happened. And so from there, I just continued recording music and here I am today. Your song, California, there's a merch component for No Kid Hungry. So every purchase, there you are. <laughs> I dug the I'm music video the too. You captured LA perfectly. You captured the essence of California. Yes, most definitely. So uh, California released with its music video. And then um, what happened was, is people were asking for, oh, you should create merch. And I was like, you know what? Sure, why not? 
And so I decided to put a, since I'd already even done charities in the past for my previous song, Holiday in LA, which was for UNICEF, I wanted to go back and do a charity. And a charity that I really supported was No Kid Hungry, which was, which is a organization that supports children and families that can't afford food. And so in my school, I remember seeing all of these kids run out to get food because, you know, it's, it's later on in the day and no one has any packed lunches left or they don't have enough money to just keep spending on food and certain lunch boxes or anything like that. So No Kid Hungry comes in and saves the day. So then I wanted to support that. And with my merch line, California, my California merch line, um, I got my long sleeve t-shirt, which has the California running along the sleeve and uh, the crop hoodie, which I don't have on me right now, um, but it's also super cool. And uh, it's on my website at IamAJRodriguez.com. And yeah, I'm supporting No Kid Hungry. All profits go to that organization and I'm super happy about it. Your new music video, which releases this Sunday, October 10th. It was filmed in a diner. It's very vibrant. And you have some custom-made vans that say Cherry Bomb as well? I do. I have them upstairs. Uh, they'll be presented on October 10th, along with the music video release. And I made a video of me customizing them and all of that. I was super happy about them. And then as for the music video, it was filmed in the Classic American Diner. We were looking through different places to film the Cherry Bomb music video. And we really wanted to go with something bright and vibrant that would match with the song. So at first, we thought that running through the school halls with lockers would be kind of cool. But um, we couldn't find any like abandoned schools or schools that were on hiatus because, you know, it was summer had ended and COVID was coming to a new a new phase where everyone could go back to school if they were vaccinated and all of that so schools were kind of filling up so then we were scrolling through and found the diner and we thought it had neon lights it had all the bright colors and so we went to that we filled it up with some cakes and cupcakes and fresh fruit and all of that and we tried to make it as amazing smelling and tantalizing as possible and then uh, we filmed the music video. From what I've seen, it looks incredible and I can't wait to see it when it drops. Alexander, I can't thank you enough for your time today. Is there anything you'd like to throw out there for your fans? Cherry Bomb already released on October 1st. I'm super excited about that release. And the October 10th is the music video. And I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait for everyone to see the video for Cherry Bomb from what you've shown me. I'm already intrigued. There's an awesome dance number and I understand that it was choreographed by Marvin Brown and there is a dance challenge that you can do on Instagram Reels and TikTok? Yeah, so Marvin Brown uh, taught Dua Lipa how to walk on stage and stage presence. He's currently teaching me how to do stage presence. And he also taught Tom Holland how to do different choreography and a bunch of other things. So I'm very lucky to have him. And he choreographed the dance for Cherry Bomb. And we've changed it up just a little bit and spiced it up just a little bit to so that it can be put into TikTok and people can dance to it and practice it, go with the, with the song on Instagram Reels and on TikTok. And then on the Sunday, I'm having my Cherry Bomb release party event. And we're going to be videoing how to actually do the dance there as well. So everyone will be able to see how it's supposed to be done how they can do it, how can they spice it up a little bit if they want to, and uh, post it on all of their social media. Alexander, again, I can't thank you enough for your time today. I am so proud of you. You continue this epic career of yours. You're on a roll, and you're only going to go higher, my friend. Thank you. Everyone, give it up for Alexander James Rodriguez. Download his new song, Cherry Bomb. It's available on iTunes, Apple Music, all digital platforms. And on Sunday, October 10th, the music video will be released on YouTube. And on Sunday, it's going to be his VIP preview of the launch of Cherry Bomb. So you better follow him on Instagram and TikTok and be sure to tag him with your choreography and dance moves. Alexander, again, thank you so much for your time today and keep rocking, brother. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for rocking out with me and Alexander James Rodriguez today. You are on air with Cash.